Hi, Dr. Paul Merritt here with your two minute takeaway. Today we're going to talk about what is science. People get confused about what science is. They think it's chemistry or biology or it's defined by some ology. But really, science is an epistemology. An epistemology is simply a way of knowing. When we talk about an epistemology, we're trying to figure out how is it that we know what we know. So, for example, how do we know the sky is blue? Well, the simplest way is to look out at the sky and see what color it is. That would be what we call empiricism. Empiricism is a branch of epistemology which is based on observation. So when I look at something, I can see it and I can systematically observe it. That's what empiricism is. And that's one of the things that science does a great deal of. The next branch of epistemology that's also related to science is what we call rationalism. And rationalism is simply trying to know what's true through logic and reasoning. And the most famous rationalist statements is cogito ergo sum, which is I think therefore I am from Rene Descartes. And what Rene Descartes was saying is he was trying to decide if he existed. And so he said, well, in order to exist, in order to think, I must exist. So in order to be asked the question, I have to exist. So therefore, I think, therefore, I am. doesn't get us very far. But rationalism is a really important part of science because logic is an important part of understanding things like the experimental method. Another part of science is what we call authority. And this is when someone says, I, tell you, I say it's true, and that means it's true. Now. As scientists, we're not big on authority, but we do publish our findings in scientific journals, and so we rely on those scientific journals to be an authority of some sort. While we always still question their veracity and whether or not the findings are true, those are our sources of authority by relying on our colleagues to tell us what something is. Finally, intuition, not very useful from a scientific perspective. Sometimes we have a hunch based on our long experience uh, in a field about what we think might happen. But at the end of the day, science uses all of these things to come up at the truth, that is to figure out, to know what things are. So when we ask a question like, why is the sky blue, we can talk about Raleigh scatter, um, that it's a shorter wavelength of light that ends up striking a retina, all sorts of things. But science is simply a way in which we know things and a way in which we can learn about the world. That's your two minutes.